Good morning, Louisiana. So, I just wanted to say hi to everybody. And, you know, I just wanted to kind of, I guess, you know, since we're all locked in our houses for the most part during this pandemic virus thing, um, I wanted to just take you on a walk with me um, uh, to check on my animals. I'll show you a little bit what I do around here and what I've been doing. I'm on my lunch hour. So I have actually been having, I, I say, a blessing. I've been able to work during this pandemic. Um, not that it has not brought a lot, a level of stress because I don't, um, some of my close family and friends know, but I was really sick for three weeks. Um, I won't go into detail on all that, but, uh, we'll leave it as that. I was sick for three weeks, pretty bad, but I pulled through and only needed to take about, I think, two days off during the whole time and was managing to manage a family of six and work at the same time, which y'all mamas out there know whew, how difficult that is. So anyways, I am here on my porch. Um, I like to work outside as much as possible. I think the fresh air is healthy. I am going to take you on a walk because I need to take care of a few things today and show you what my house is like. And I'm just gonna forewarn you all, like I'm straight country. I do not have the perfect pictured home, but I love my home and every imperfection in it. So. Let's take you on a little tour of my back porch. I won't take you inside because it is a hot mess right now with the kids. But outside is where my favorite place is and we will show you what that looks like. So here's my back porch and we are remodeling it right now. So any suggestions would be very welcome. Um, but I've got this little area right here. This is my little workstation. Got my coffee going on. And then in here, um, flip this camera around. This is going to eventually be our bedroom. Right now it's storage. Um, but it eventually will become our bedroom. Waiting on a big window. And then we'll open it up, drywall it, and do all that good stuff. But right now things are kind of on hold. And my most favorite part of my patio is my pond. So I have like an almost an acre pond and I love it. Woo! Look at this, how awesome is this? You see my chicken coop back there and everything. So one of the couple things I have to do on a daily basis over here is check all my birds. Um, I, I am moving, migrating towards more of a homestead, home household. I would like to eventually be able to eat and live the majority of off our land. Um, so I'm going to come down here and I have uh, 18 birds, babies I need to check on this morning or after well, lunch, afternoon. And so we're gonna come in here and this is just a separate little hen house that we have makeshift created um, so that we keep them in there. They're in there. And we're gonna come check on them. Make sure that they have fresh food, fresh water, and that everyone's accounted for and they look okay. Um, there's their water. come check on my big birds oh that is a nice size would be um so come in here and this is our um you know a little makeshift chicken coop 
I, um, I just found that it gets really hot in here in the summer. And so I went ahead and put up these tarps because my chickens, I like, um, they like to free range. So I let them just tour the neighborhood. Um, as long as my neighbors are okay with it, um, I'm okay with it. So, and they produce better eggs that way. And I'm willing to share with the neighbors if that's arrangement that they would like to make. But so here's their little nesting boxes and I've got um, some eggs in here. So I'll come back and I'll get those. And I've got some down there too. Um, I'll come back and, and yes, you're gonna see some fake ones. <laughs> Let me show you this, it's funny. Green egg, no, it's not really green, it's fake. Um, but I do sometimes go through beds where they look like don't really want to lay real well so i find you can even use like a golf ball but if you throw anything in there a fake egg in there they'll lay well some of those fake eggs look real and so i painted them so i would know not to grab them and so there you go so everything looks good in here we've got food Hi. look at my babies one of my birds my babies she come in here to say hi because i'm in here all right so that looks good and so today so the next thing we're gonna do is i've got to take the pups on a walk um because they've been out here for two hours on their chain and then poor babies are not too happy about this so I'm gonna take them for a little walk. You can see them. They're probably anxiously waiting right there. <laughs> I love this property. It's not huge, but it's definitely my home. So hi, Gunner. Hi. Hey, Gunner. Okay, say baby. Oh, yes. They are so excited. These are my dogs, and. <laughs> They're babies still. Come on. Okay. Okay. He likes to jump on you like seriously attack you. Okay. Okay. Say mama. Say. Say mama. Okay. So they're gonna just like, oh my god, knock me over. Ah! Yeah, well that's gonna be them for right now. And we're gonna go on a little wooded walk because I feel like, you know, in the midst of everything that's going on, you know, everyone's in their houses and they're all trapped. You know, they feel like, you know, anxieties are growing and, you know, pressures of financial strains and all that. Like, people need to get out of their homes. And I'm fortunate, like, I need to, you know, keep reminding myself how blessed I am that I have acreage to walk in and I can get in the woods or whatever, but, so important just to be outside, ground yourself a little, a couple times a day, whatever you need, whatever you need to, I guess. Uh, but you know, these guys right here, they keep me on my feet and they allow me to motivate me to get walking. So I think during the time that I was really sick, um, this is probably one of the things that kept me from becoming hospitalized uh, because I, forced myself no matter how bad I felt and how much I was coughing and, and hacking and all that goodness, I forced myself to go on this walk twice a day, no matter what. And uh, because of course, you know, my little babies needed it. So we're gonna come down here and just take a little walk in the woods. And I meditated the whole time, you know, just kind of, you know, thinking about mother nature and how, you know, blessed we are to have the things that we have and the air and the breeze and the birds and all that, you know. I love my, my woods. <sighs> I still am having respiratory issues. Normally this would not put me out of breath, but anyways, yeah. So here's my little walk. And I have like, uh, not very savvy with the phone, but 
I will flip and let you see the path I take. So you're gonna come off me for a little bit. And we're just gonna take this walk. And the guys just, the, they just love this. I mean, it's not huge. I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's people that have way bigger properties than I do, but I certainly enjoy a little walk in the woods, a little mind taking off the things that have been troubling us. And the dogs love it too, because they go nuts. Billy, Connor. Here we go, here we go. So this weekend I'll have a goal. I wanted to share my goal with y'all because I, I and spring's here and you know with everything with the with the virus and all that, I haven't had normally I'm like gearing up and wanting to figure out what I'm gonna plant and grow. Well, because of this virus, I have not my focus has been shifted and I have not had the time to really think about what I want to grow, where I want to grow it. Um, and, you know, so this is going to be, I think, my focus for ow, um, this coming up weekend. So I'm going to gear down and, and, and think about where I want to grow some vegetables or what, what kind of vegetables I want to grow, what kind of fruit plants, fruit trees I want to plant, all that, where I want to plant, what's the best option, you know get that situated so I also need to keep in mind my chickens love to scavenge within my vegetable garden they always eat my vegetable garden so I gotta kind of be savvy about that come on guys over here come on come on come on and here they come watch oh my god that's Charles coming. Yep, yeah, so I don't know, you know. Uh, I would really like to grow some heirloom tomatoes. So, anyway. And then I think I want to go this way. They sometimes think they're going to go another way. They're like, no, we want to go this way, which is fine because there's not really much. You can't go far. And, um, so, I know. And then later on, I want to go pick some wild blackberries because I haven't had the chance to do that. And I want some wild blackberries. Hey, hey. Come here. I think y'all might know what this is. I'm gonna grab me a snack bonus if I could find one. It looks like they've been picking it in the neighborhood. Oh, yes. Who can tell me what this is? Love it. Oh. One of my absolute favorites. Come on. And unfortunately, looks like mm, so good. You don't want to seriously dye your shirt though. So you have to be careful. It looks like the neighborhood has been, which is cool. It's good. Hey, I'd rather them eating that. Come on. We're going to go back, head this way. Uh, but I do need some more blackberries. Um, because I've used them all. I cook like four pounds and I've done eating all of them. Whoa. Right. Come 
hope I'm not making y'all dizzy. Probably. Anywho, well, this is my little walk. We're just gonna make our way kind of around it back. And uh, then I'm gonna situate the pups on the back porch and probably make me another cup of coffee and start the rest of my day. You know, finish the rest of my day up. And then do this in the evening. So, but apparently, <clears throat> We're going to get some weather this afternoon, so I'm not sure how bad it's going to be. I think upper Louisiana is supposed to get some pretty bad storms, but I'm crossing my fingers. It's not terrible because they've just been hit so hard this year. Oh, we're, we're going the wrong way. Um, so I'm hoping that they don't get too bad because we've already had so many tornadoes and everything. They can just use a little break. And um, we're supposed to get some weather. So I am just making sure I take them on a good walk right now. So in case the weather gets bad this afternoon, no biggie. We'll just do it another time. Come on. Ah. Come on. Where's Bailey? There she is. Look at that. Really? <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> she loves it. All right. Well, without further ado, thank you for going on this walk with me. And I will check in with y'all later. <laughs>